好，伊内莎，伊内莎。嗯，啊，刘生，啊 ，I'm all right, but Hazuki Sensei, my father. 
keep friends those you love close to you uh, no father no Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuksan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Why did those men come after my father? I should go talk to Fuxa.
Ryo-san, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landi. What did he talk with my father about? Landi demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusa. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please, don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Hey. Hiya! Are you looking for something? Nothing really. Hi, Megumi. Oh, uh, um... You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Here. Maybe she's not hungry. Well... 
There's also dried fish. Give that a try. If you crush it, she might eat it. Okay. Well, I've got to go now. But wait! We gotta think of a name for the kitty! Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, Dio! Bye-bye. Um... Oh, hello, Ryo! Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. Sumia-san. Hi, Ryo. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Well, I've got to go. Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. See you later. Yamagashi-san. Oh, hello, Ryo. Are you okay? I've been feeling a bit ill, but it's nothing to worry about now. Sorry. No, I'm sorry to disturb you. I'll come back another time. Take care. I'm sorry about this. No, it's fine. Excuse me. Oh! I should ask around here some more. Now, Yuki. Yo! Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm... Maybe Sakuragaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. 
Good idea. I should ask around here some more. Excuse me. What? No, don't ask me. I have to go now. I see. Sumiya-san, was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamagishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. I see. Mishima-san. Oh, hello, Ryo. That day of the incident, did you see some men dressed in black suits? Black suits? No, I didn't see them. Well, did you happen to notice anything unusual? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. I'm looking for anything at all. Is there anything you remember? I'm sorry, Dio. The weather was awful, so I stayed inside all day. Did you ask Sumiya-san? She knows about everything that occurs in this neighborhood. Is that so? Um... Oh, hello, Dio. Excuse me. Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. I really should talk to Yomagashi-san at least once. Perhaps they're out? Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. 
This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakuragaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear you're okay. Hi, Ayuka. Hi, Ario. You know my daddy? He bakes bread every day. My daddy's bread tastes really good. But I really like pizza better. Is that so? Hey, Rio. Did you see a black car that day? No, I didn't. Has that car got something to do with a suspect? Well... Oh, I remember the owner of the seafood shop talking something about a car. I didn't ask him for details, though. Thanks. I'll go and see him. See you later. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? The day it snowed, did you happen to see a black car? Huh? A black car? Apparently it drove through here at high speed. Oh yeah, I heard something about that. Oh. About the black car, did you remember? Yeah, man. I heard about it a couple of days ago at the hamburger place. Something about some black car that was speeding. I wasn't paying much attention, so I don't really remember. I see. Ask the owner of the hamburger place. Thanks a lot. Tom. Hi, Rio. I heard about your father. I'm sorry. Have one of my special dogs. It'll perk you up, I bet. Thanks. I'll have one next time. Anyway, on that day, did anything unusual happen? N no, nothing. I see. Well, if you remember anything, let me know. Sure thing. I will. Tom. Hey, Rio. Try my homemade... Uh-huh. Shinkichi-san. Hey, uh, Ryo! Do you know anything about that black car? Yeah, uh, what are you talking about? Did you happen to see a black car the day of the incident? Nope, I didn't see it. That day we only had a few customers due to the snow and the rain. I spent most of the day reading the horse racing paper, checking out my odds, you know. I see. A black car, mmm. Shinkichi-san, I'll see you later then. Wait a minute, yo. I just remembered something. What? That girl over at Aida Flores mentioned something about it. That she got splashed with mud by a black car driving recklessly. The girl at Aida Flores? You mean Nozomi? Yeah, she's a classmate of yours, isn't she? Uh, yes. I saw her working at her shop today. Right, thank you.
Hi. Hello. What can I do for you? On the day the weather changed from snow to rain, did you see a black car? A black car? I hear it drove at full speed through Dobuita. Well, we closed early that day. I see. Wait a minute. Now I remember. A car did drive through real fast. Really? Don't remember the color, but it drove off towards the seafood shop. I see. Minako-san. What? Did you happen to see a black car that day? That day? Do you mean the day it snowed? Yes. No, I didn't see one. I see. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. On that day the snow changed to rain. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. I get for you I have a question for you do you remember the day when the snow changed to rain yeah I remember did you happen to see a black car a black car oh hey that reminds me you know that girl over at Ida florist yeah you mean Nozomi yep she was spitting mad because some black car splashed mud on her I don't know the details though I see Excuse me. Excuse me. I just can't now. Ask me later, will you? Excuse me. Huh? Me? No, it's nothing. They're out. Um, try again when you get a bit older. Sorry.
Ono-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. I heard you had a hard time. Yeah. Are you okay now? Yes. I feel a lot better now. Don't overdo it. Um... What is it, kid? I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fighting with me? I've got a question for you. Who are you kidding? Get out of here! Um, may I help you? Do you have time now, Hattori-san? What is it? That day, did you happen to see a black car? That day, I didn't go out. So, I'm afraid I don't know anything. I see. Weren't there any other witnesses? That's what I am investigating. I see. That son of a... I sure do hope the police catch him soon. Yeah. Excuse me. What can I do for you? Uh, may I ask you something? What is it? Did you see a black car that day? No, I didn't. I see. I'll see you later. Tom. Hey, Rio! Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. All right, man, I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Bajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Tao-san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? 
Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Ramen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Manpukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Got a minute? If you want to talk, come to the bar. Okay. Bye for now. Goodbye. Saijo-san. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Saijo-san. Yeah, what is it? Oh, it's nothing. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm tired from working the night shift, so I'd appreciate you keeping it down. I see. Hi, Ryo. Akemi-san. Um... You're still a minor. Ine-san's worried, you know. All right. Guess they're not open yet. Nozomi, 
Ryo, I'm worried about you. Hmm? Look, I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't get so involved. But I just can't let this thing go. Well, at least be careful. I will. See you later. Um... Sorry, but I don't talk to strangers. Ask someone else around here, will you? Honey-san. Hi, yo. Honey-san. Hey, how's everything? How about some munchies? Sorry, maybe next time. Ichiro. Hey, bro. Hey. Listen, Ryo. Hmm? I'm sick of Naoyuki going on about his motorcycle. Whether or not he's gonna paint the tank, I can't stand to hear it anymore. I see. He'll bore you to death, too. I'm sure of it. I'll prep myself. See ya. Yeah, later. Yuji. Ryo. Ryo. You seem really busy lately. No, not really. Are you sure? I get the impression that you're involved in something very dangerous. Or is it just me? Yeah, it's just you. Excuse me? Yeah! Um... You need change? No. What is it then? How about a game of darts? Yeah. One game, 100 yen. I'd better not. One game, 100 yen. Come on, kid! Think you can beat me? I'll try it. I should talk to some more people.
Ichiro, hey bro. Hey, listen, Ryo. Hmm? I'm sick of Naoyuki going on about his motorcycle. Whether or not he's gonna paint the tank, I can't stand to hear it anymore. I see. He'll bore you to death too, I'm sure of it. Nah, I like hearing about it. See ya. Yeah, later. Got a minute? Hey, what's the matter? May I ask you something? Ryo, can't you come back some other time? I see. Sorry. Excuse me. Um. Oh no, I just catch me. It's closed. Whoa! 
Yuo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, Ine-san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. Fuxan. What? Do you know anything about the Three Blades? No, I've never heard of it. What is it? I don't know much either, but it has something to do with tailors, cooks, and barbers. Huh? Is that right? I'm searching for Chinese members of the Three Blades. Ring any bells? No, not really. I see. Why don't you go check at Ajiichi first? You're right. Thanks, Fuku-san. Gotta get to bed. <laughs> 